Never Stop Learning, week 173. I'm going to show you my first look at the Area Type Auto Sizing, which is a new feature in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014. All right, now this only works on rectangular frames that have one row and column defined. Now, the good thing is that that's pretty much what we're going to be working with a lot of the time, and I'll show you what that is. I'm going to hit the T key on my keyboard to activate the type tool, and I'm just going to create some area text here by clicking and dragging. All right, so now I have this little frame here. This is actually a fixed height frame. So I'm going to uh, paste some text in here that I have in my clipboard. I'm going to hit Command V on my keyboard and then Command Return to accept that change. All right, now because there's a lot of text in here, you see I have this little red symbol over here, and that's letting me know that there's more text. But because this frame is at a fixed size, I don't see the rest of that text. It's actually beyond this. So what I would normally do is come over here, click and drag, to introduce some more of this text and then I'll click and drag until I see that I've reached the end and then I'll probably click and drag to bring it back and you can see how this could become tedious doing this over and over again. Alright so I'm gonna get rid of this text and show you how we do it with this new feature. Alright I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard to activate the type tool click and drag and then command V and then command return to accept that. Alright so now here we are again with this basic text thing. All right, if I come over here to Illustrator, Preferences, and then choose Type, that's going to bring up my Preferences window. I'm going to be over here in the Type menu, and over here you're going to see the new feature of Auto Size New Area Type. Now, if you want to just turn this guy on already, come over here, click on this, and you already have it turned on. I'm actually leave this turned off for a sec because I'm going to show you another way to work. I'll hit Cancel to get out of this. Now, instead of having to go into that window and going through all the menus and all that, you could actually just come back over here, hover over this little widget right here, and next to my cursor, I see this little icon. It looks like a page and a two-headed arrow. That's letting me know that if I double-click on this, now I've turned this into an auto-sizing frame. So this frame is going to size up to however my, my text is set up. So if I come in here, I'm going to make some edits. I'm going to delete some of these rows, and when I hit delete, I'm going to accept that change. You see that my frame has automatically changed to that right size for me. I'll come back in here, double click, Command A to select all of my text, Command V to paste in that text again, Command Return to accept that change, and now you see that my text frame has automatically sized up to this longer version, so it makes sure it's fitting all that in. All right. Now if I come back over here, I could switch it back to the old behavior. You see my cursor changes a little bit. It's a little bit different. It's still a page icon, but this time it's only showing a single arrowhead. So if I double click on this guy, now it switches the behavior and we're back to the fixed height frame. All right, so that means I'd have to click and drag to resize this guy however I need it. It's not going to automatically do that for me. All right, so that's all I needed to cover on there, but one last thing I wanted to mention. I'm not sure if it's coming up on your screen or not, but you could still kind of see that little red symbol there. Now, at first when I saw that, I thought I still might have some other hidden text or something, but actually it's just a little bit of a problem on how Adobe Illustrator is rendering this out for me. So if I come over here, click and drag something over it, and then click away from it, you see it's already gone. So it actually wasn't even there, it's just like, Think of it as some leftover pixels. So the only reason I wanted to mention that is in case you come across that on your screen. Well, there you have it, folks. That's my first look at the Area Type Auto Sizing, which is a new feature in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014.